binge watching on CNN, it has been all about ISIS. The terrorist group has caused the U.S. to reevaluate its foreign policy and it's caused a bunch of companies that happen to be named ISIS to reevaluate their names. Ariel Wessler breaks down how a rose by any other name, you, you get the idea. Imagine working for years to brand your business or organization and instantly... ISIS is certainly dominating headlines. ISIS terrorist targets inside Syria. My officials say supporters of ISIS... It's stolen by a bunch of terrorists. It happened to David Albright because he's the president... Of ISIS, <laughs> Institute for Science and International Security. So instead, the group has started answering the phone as ISIS Nuclear. Not much better. We had a tweet which, which, where somebody thought we were the W weapons of mass destruction arm of the terrorist group and that we should be, uh, you know, crushed. The name ISIS is used by far more people than you might think. There's a college feminist group in Strength I Stand at Fordham University, ISIS Pharmaceuticals in San Diego, ISIS Mobile Wallet felt the need to change its name to SoftCard, and an upscale condo development in West Palm Beach called ISIS Downtown changed its name to 333 Downtown. You could be selling pet supplies. It doesn't matter what you're selling. If you sound like ISIS, if you look like the word ISIS, all those negative connotations that ISIS brings up for people are going to now be associated with you and your business. But it can cost businesses a ton of money to make that change. We just don't want to use ISIS. Especially this Florida woman, because... My name is ISIS. I love my name, or so I loved it a lot more before. So she started an online petition demanding the media use ISIL or Islamic State instead. I will not and cannot change my name, and neither should the thousands of other women who share this beautiful name. Look, I can sympathize. I was a happy kid, and then this mermaid comes along and ruins everything. Sometimes these things are just out of your control. Just ask the unfortunately named AIDS candy, which disappeared in the late 1980s. Taken with a hot drink before meals, AIDS helps you curb your appetite. Who knows what next name the or crazy organization is going to come up with. Watch your acronyms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>